You know what I hate? When I come home and there's a sea of shoes all over the entrance. You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. So in general, this is how my foyer usually looks. Um, we need some major shoe organization. So this um, is a great hack for a small space. And uh, it's also, I would consider like renter friendly because you can uninstall it as well. This is probably gonna be a two part video because I want to show you guys my process and how I do what I do. So for the first part, it's gonna be the Hemne shoe cabinet um, hack that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, and then the second part, which I'll explain it more in detail in the other video, um, how I'm just going to really transform the whole entire, uh, foyer area. Oh, so with the Hemne shoe cabinet, I wanted to do two side by side, but, um, if you could see here in this, in this picture, there's a gap in between if you put it together exactly how it's supposed to be. And I didn't want that gap in the middle. I wanted it to be looking, you know, like one unit and a little bit more customized. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys this hack. I did look online and try to find like different ways to do it. And I really didn't find like detailed information on how to do what I'm going to show you how to do. So uh, basically that's why I created this video. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So let's just get into the video. So as you can see, this is basically what the foyer usually looks like when you walk in. We have like a sea of shoes. You know, this is like my shoes and the kids' shoes. And then over here is all daddy's shoes. So um, his shoes are pretty large. I'm hoping that most of them can fit in the, the um, Ikea shoe cabinet. And here's just another quick look at what the hallway area looks like. Okay, so this part might be self-explanatory, but I'm still going to tell you how I do it. Um, I first take everything out the Ikea box, and that's mainly so I can have more room to work. Like I mentioned before, this is a small hallway update, so having as much space as possible is super valuable for me. Um, after that is all done, I do take the box and put it into my garage. Okay, so that's all done. Now I just take that bag of screws that I showed you before and sort everything out into piles. This just makes it super easy for me to find which screw I'm looking for instead of digging through the bag every single time. So like I mentioned before, this is two cabinets, but you have to install them individually. The first one I'm doing, I'm putting together the exact way that the Ikea Hemnays instruction says to. The only thing I'm not doing is I'm not putting the top on and I'll show you guys why later on in the video. Now let's time lapse this and watch me put together this Ikea Hemnes shoe cabinet. So like I mentioned before, this is a small hallway, so I have to actually move my current table out of the way to make room. Okay, and then I'm just moving the first Hemnes cabinet against the wall, and that's mainly for placement. I'll show you guys what I mean in the next few steps. All right, so this is the second Hemnes shoe cabinet um and i basically do what i did with the first one which is basically like setting everything out and um then i'm just gonna figure out which leg i'm not gonna put on um you know so it can look like one shoe cabinet instead of two separate shoe cabinets um so yeah that's what i'm about to do all right so i have half of the leg put together so I'm just doing one side and I found that it was like a little easy to just follow from step seven so the side that looks like seven just follow that so I can follow it all the way through and not get confused all right so now I'm just gonna keep going it's not this one it is okay so again to reiterate I assembled the shoe cabinet the same way I did with the first one but I just didn't put the one leg on or the top I 
basically assemble the cabinet the way it's supposed to be, except not without this leg, but I still need that part of the back so it could still look like finished. So I'm going to use this, the leg, just as a placeholder. I'm not going to screw it in or anything. I'm just using it for leverage while I'll put this one on. Okay, so before I go on, I just want to point out that this is what the Hemnes cap shoe cabin looks like when it's fully assembled. This is the real way to assemble it, except it would usually have the top on. But because I am trying to combine it where it looks like it's just one leg and not two side-by-side -side cabinets, I am going to be doing this hack. So um, I'm going to be using a little bit of glue in the top and then some clamps to like basically keep it connected. I used Gorilla Wood Glue and then I added it to the side of the cabinet and also the side where the wood was exposed. And here's the clamps that I use. And this is the part where all the magic happens. I simply just take the cabinet, place it right up against the first cabinet, and the part where the exposed wood was shown fits right into the back of the other cabinet. So now it looks like they share one leg. And then I just took the clamps and clamped it together. All right, so I added the glue and then now it is clamped with this. And then I also added a clamp at the bottom too to kind of hold everything together, to, um, excuse me, to hold everything together. Um, hey guys, what's up? Today is day two of my Ikea cabinet hack. Um, so I let the wood glue dry at the top and the bottom overnight. Um, but this morning I did notice that like these two pieces are kind of like, there's a space in between. So I'm gonna put some glue in there as well and then just use some tape to, uh, I guess, keep the cabinet um, tight and close together. I think that makes sense. Anyway, let me just stop cleaning. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. So I used the same wood glue and squeezed some glue into the space where it was still loose. And then I used frog tape to try and secure it so that it could dry in place. So now I'm just going to move this and just make sure it's centered. I waited for the cabinet to be put together as one unit to double check that it was centered with the mirror that I already had on my wall. This is going to be getting drilled in, so I wanted to make sure that it was right the first time. So remember when I showed you that I glued part of the cabinet together to make it as if it was going to be like more secured? Well, it didn't work. I thought it was going to be a quick fix. I thought it was going to, I actually did think it was going to work and it didn't work, but I do have the actual solution that is going to work. I have to admit, I was kind of being a little bit lazy and I didn't feel like whipping out the drill, but this uh, method is actually effective and it is going to work. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do it. I actually had to take the, this part off here to do what I was talking about. Um, that part kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, it is just like a little squiggly squirrel that comes out. All right, so now that's off. So in order to make this hack work, you have to use the extra leg that actually came with the second Hemnes cabinet. Take the frog tape and line it up to the leg. And then next, you can take a pencil and... or. Oh, and then just poke the holes in the exact space. Um, next, take the same piece of frog tape with the holes on it and align it to the leg. This is basically being used as like a template so that you can screw in the holes when it's time. Not screwing, drilling the holes when it's time. Okay, so see, I have the frog tape and it's aligned onto the leg, the inner leg that's already installed and see where the holes are. I'm just gonna take some pencil and mark exactly where I'm gonna drill the holes and the sizes. I'm just gonna double check my hole sizes and I'm using something called a hobby drill gauge. So it looks like this and I'll have this in the description box below. I got it off Amazon so you guys, if you're looking for it, you can buy it there. Um, so now I'm just gonna double check my sizes. I'm always nervous of like drilling a hole too big. So that's why I did buy this just to double check. So like this small one, I know it's a 1 drill. 
because I don't want to just look, you know, already messed up with the glue. I don't want to mess up again. <laughs> so I'm using the gauge to quickly just make some markings on the tape so that I know exactly the size to drill. You need this type of drill, these type of drill bits in order to drill the holes into the side of the cabinet. They come in different sizes. I was able to match up these guys with the drill, um, with the drill gauge to make it easier for me. All right, so the other thing I did with the drill bit is I put a little tape, a little mat, a little of the frog tape at the bottom. So um, I won't go too deep in with the hole. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so that it was the first hole that I drilled. And this goes in here. And it fits pretty good not too deep, so I'm gonna just do the rest. Okay, here's a look at here's a look at my process. I since I had already like built it up and everything, I ended up just taking the left leg off, which was pretty easy. So I can just basically leave the cabinet intact. So now I'm just gonna finish putting everything like the, the bottom leg and the top again and then putting the left leg on so that um I can get finished with this project. So the cabinet actually looks really good now. This is all like professional looking. It looks like a real hack. Um, well, I mean, you know, it was a real hack anyway, but you know what I'm saying. This is not wiggly anymore. It's secure, so I'm excited. Um, now I'm just gonna put the drawers in and do the top, and then this is gonna be all set to go. So all right, let's get started with the... Okay, so I so I've seen a few other hacks done where they replace the top and put just like one full piece of wood or a different color wood or anything like that. I'm actually not gonna be doing that because I'm I might be redoing my floors in this hallway or foyer area and um, um so I might be redoing my floors in this foyer area. And I'm not sure of the color I want to go with, so I didn't want to get a wood piece and not complement the floor, you know what I mean? So I'm actually just going to be using the white. I actually like the way the white looks anyway because I'm able to switch out my decor and everything for like different seasons and stuff. This is some extra super sticky tape and it's supposed to be super durable. Like I've read some reviews on Amazon and people were like hanging up their TVs with this stuff. So I'm actually gonna try it out with this just in case I do decide to switch it out later on the tops. Obviously taping is pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to show that I did have to cut it a little bit. Um, I used the excess that I did cut to adhere the back part of the tabletop and it helped me to save on how much product I used. So I just wanted to show you real quick, this is what I'm doing for the top. I'm just putting it like right up against the edge where the other one is. And then I'm gonna put the other top right against this edge. So I ended up putting on the first top to the one side and then going it, and then going back and adding tape to the other side. Um, I just felt like it was a little bit easier for me to do that just so I could see the placement of everything. And uh, yeah. And here's a quick look at what the hallway looked like before. It was so many shoes all over the entrance and it basically made everything look really cluttered when you first walked into the house. And this is what the hallway looks like now. It is super clean. There's no shoes in the foyer area anymore. Everything is in these Hemnay's shoe cabinet that I hacked to make it look like one. Lots of shoes can fit in there. I actually haven't counted how many, but all the ones that were basically in the foyer can fit except the boots. And because it's so narrow, it makes the hallway look like it has so much more space, which I absolutely love. So as you can see, the cabinet, it was pretty easy to put together. Um, it only took about 45 minutes to put the first one together. The second one, because of like my little trial and error, it took a little bit longer, but still fairly easy if you just go with that second method of just like screwing everything in. Um, also I wanted to point out that the shoe cabinet, it holds about two women's size shoes, like, okay, not shoes. 
It holds about two women's size sneakers. I'm like a seven and a half, so that can fit two of my sneakers. For kids, it can fit about three to four pairs of sneakers really easily. And adult male um, sneakers, about two pairs. So it is a little tight um, if you wear certain style shoes. So um, that's that. Oh, and also for me, I have one where I just put sandals in and I can like kind of stuff as many sandals that, that's, that can fit. Right now it's only like three or four pairs of sandals in there, but um, I'm pretty sure I could fit more. And um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, you know, and if it was, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it does help me out. Also, uh, make sure you're subscribed because I am going to be doing part two of this for your small hallway update. Um, yeah, and hopefully it's like a major transformation for you guys that you'll like. So, uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Peace. No, do I want to say that? What else was I going to say? I kept forgetting. Oh, man, what happened to the daggone battery? Nah, nah, scratch that. Yo! So, I had to take a break to get my kids from school. But tell me. I'm building this. Hi, people. Remember me? I think that's it.